Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this short episode, I'd like to show you how we can change uh, the default permissions on a team site uh, using SharePoint, which is in the back end of uh, the Microsoft Teams. Each channel is actually uh, um, a folder within the document library. So you see, for instance, we're in uh, the file tab of general and we have a uh, document. Um, so let's see how we, for instance, through the SharePoint, we can decide uh, for members that they won't see uh, one of these folders. So let's go actually to the SharePoint site and uh, within general we'll take folder one and we will click on manage access. Now actually we are saying we don't want to show all of the members uh, by default. So I have demo uh, June members and actually I will say stop sharing. Uh, actually, we're cutting the uh, inheritance and actually only the site owner will see it. So I have another user, which is called Ami Diamond. Let's see uh, if he can see it. So uh, this is Ami Diamond and I go to general and folder one is not existing. Let's just go again. You see for Alex, it's it existing. Uh, we can also see this uh, through the team site. So uh, this is what uh, Alex sees. And uh, let me just see. Uh, so also uh, Ami, uh, which was a member, no longer can see the folder one. So this is one example. But I want to show you an example that uh, not only we can uh, we can cause actually a problem if we don't change uh, like a subfolder, but we change actually the, the folder of the team. Uh, so actually I will go back uh, to Alex and we will go to the step one, which is a, a channel. And actually I will click and I will do it through the SharePoint site actually. So, uh, Let's go back, I'll click the three dots and I'll click uh, manage access. This time for the folder, which is the channel, I'll, I'll uh, remove it from the members. Alex is, is a site owner, so he will still be able to see it. So you see, actually, now we, we have changed it that the members cannot see it. Uh, so let's go to Alex's or oh, the other user and uh, if he uh, watches here I'll refresh see uh, step one which is a channel folder no longer is there now let's see what happens if he goes uh, to the team site so he will go to step one and he will go to the file tab and let's refresh and uh, let's refresh again. He should get an arrow. Just a second. Ah, so we see this arrow. So actually, the uh, Microsoft does not prevent uh, uh, changing the permissions, and this this is what what uh, is caused. So if we want to fix it, actually, we just need to retrieve the permissions to the members. So let's go um, to the SharePoint site. I'm with Alex, which is the site owner. I'll click the three dots, manage access. And actually, um, I cannot do it through here. I'll click the advanced. And we will delete the unique permissions, or actually we can uh, grant. So let's delete unique permissions. We'll see that the members has uh, add it to the, the the permissions and now if uh, Ami Diamond tries to to log in so this is the arrow let's reload and we will see that uh, everything is good so we learned uh, some things here one um, uh, a uh, site owner can see everything if it's a regular standard channel. 
a member uh, can also see and change unless uh, it has been changed by the site owner uh, so the site owner can uh, hide some folders um, if the site owner uh, removes permissions to the members on the channel folder then actually there will be a problem and the way to do that is just to um, give back the permissions so uh, I, I hope Microsoft can um, see or alert the users before they do such things in order that not to cause a problem. So this is what I wanted to show you. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.